Listen, before you click off this video, I know the chances of actually getting a Smithmas update might be quite small, especially since like only a few videos ago, I was talking about news that TF2 might be on hold, and now I'm making a video talking about what I want from an update that may or may not even be happening. I know it's stupid, you know it's stupid, but we're here now, and I need more time to work on other videos, so this is what you're getting. And honestly, I think we might not be getting any big updates, but I think we're still going to get Screen Fortress and Smithmas, which, you know, it, it limits the amount of cosmetics we actually get, because it's just wintry stuff. But, oh well. I think the first thing I would actually want in a Smithmas update is better, like, winter-themed war paints. We literally didn't get any war paints last year, it was just cosmetics, so having some, like, decent, like, wintry war paints I think would be quite cool. And I'm not on about the, like, the ugly Christmas sweater one we've got for the past few years. There's pretty much exactly the same, but the patterns are just slightly different. But some, like, actual nice wintry war paints, Christmas-themed ones, anything that people make on the workshop, because we know that's where Valve gets everything they put in the game now. I think throughout December, it would give the game a more Christmassy feel if people are using them in the game, and your guns have that wintry look and feel to them. I don't know, like... Alternatively, you could just add new official festives, but with the festivizer, I guess there's really no point in doing that. Unless there's some weapons that can't be festivized yet, then just add them. I don't know. I just want awesome new ways to make your guns look different. Like, you've got the Australians, you've got the bot killers, and you've got all the war paints that are in the game now. But I want some new, like, things that stand out a lot. And that would actually be worth trying to get a factory new version of a war paint for. Right now, you only have a factory new version of a war paint because anything else looks awful. The second thing I would probably want to see is like a Christmas version of some of the maps in the game. Not every single map. I don't want every map to be covered in snow or anything like that because it doesn't need to be. People don't play every single map in the game. But if you chose some of the most popular maps in the map rotation or whatever and made like a Christmassy version and had that as like an, its own event thing, I think that would be really cool and would just be something a little bit different. Like we've got Cold Front and I think that's the only like map that's sort of like Christmas. I don't know. I'm basically saying I want a snowy version of Harvest because I only ever play Harvest and yeah, I think a Christmas version would be quite cool. I mean, there's probably people who have already made those types of maps anyway, so you could just add those in instead of, like, making them yourself, which is still a bit of work, I know, but it's easier than making the map yourself, so, you see what I mean? Yeah, I, I just want a Christmassy harvest, gotta be honest. If I have to be honest with myself, I think it's fairly obvious that we're probably only going to be getting a new cosmetic crate this year, if there is even is an update, which... I guess I'm fine with, but if the cosmetics are kind of bad, then I think I'll be a bit annoyed. Especially since they aren't making any updates or doing anything else with the game. Like, at least pick some good looking cosmetics. Don't use one of the only updates of the year to add awful looking stuff into it. Because that would be a massive waste and would actually be like a massive kick in the balls. Pick some good looking cosmetics from the workshop because they do exist and there is a lot of them on there and make a crate full of actually good looking items because then it will actually be worth opening them and you can make more money from TF2 even if you're not going to update it. I'll probably be doing a video later in December looking through the workshop at like cool Christmas stuff so I don't want to go too into it for this one but yeah that's a, it's a video for another time. And honestly, I think those three things are the only things I really want to ask for. I have no real high hopes for this update at all. I don't even know if it's going to happen, which is, you know, we were in this situation last year, but this year I'm really, really not sure we are going to get a Smithmas update at all. I mean, I have videos planned anyway, even if there isn't a Smithmas update. So I, I again, I don't mind, like, It'd be cool to have an update because then there's guaranteed videos to make on that. But if there's not, I've I've got stuff planned. It will be fine. And I won't be crying myself to sleep realizing that TF2 is probably just going to get forgotten. I don't know. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching the video. I hope you all enjoyed it. I am trying to hit 60k by the end of the year. And I need like 2,000 subscribers or something like that. Which is going to be very difficult. But 
If you guys have watched the video and you've enjoyed it, then please make sure you subscribe and try and help me hit this goal. I'm trying to give away an unusual when I hit it as well. So if you can help me do that, there is a chance that you will win it. So you should probably subscribe if you want a chance of winning that unusual. And it's not a bad one either. Thank you all so much for watching the video and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. Also want to say a really quick thank you to everybody who's... Oh, for fuck's sake, man.